Namaste, Satsriya Kaal and Adab. This is your host and those, Mr. Bond, welcoming you all once again to Mutual Funds for All, No Age Limit. We have the same young investor who has started his career a few years back. Welcome back, Vardhaman. Thank you for having me back. So, as you had said last week about uh, early people who are starting their career early having the maximum disposable income, which is true, I am not being able to save that much. What is that reason? So basically, I make all my expenditures on my credit card and I buy different things and I only pay 5% of the minimum balance due and carry forward the rest. So that has created a huge debt trap and I'm sinking in this mess. Can you tell me how to get out of that? This is a part of the pre-financial planning step once again for all the young viewers who are watching this uh, episode. Please remember that most of the credit card companies tell you, I am they encourage you to pay minimum balance, which is 5% of your outstanding credit card dues every month. And they say, we will carry forward your 95% of the balance to the next month. Do you know how much they charge on that balance uh, outstanding? They charge you 3% to 4% per month, which is 36% to 48% per annum. Oh my God. Is that true? Yes. So this is the debt trap, which you will not be able to extract yourself out of. So the best thing is, even if you have to stop your current SIPs or dip into your current investments, first priority should be to pay off your credit card debts. Once that is done, then you can start your investment journey and your financial planning journey once again. But till that time, I would strongly recommend that you should pay off all your credit cards and in future as well. Remember, do not pay just the minimum balance, pay the entire amount outstanding at the end of every month. That will only uh, take you away from that debt trap. Thank you, sir. I will keep that in mind and clear of all my dues immediately. This is your host and those, Mr. Bond, signing off. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.